Good evening. You're watching Prime Time Debate. I'm Tamanna Namdar. A hike messenger has introduced a version of Android that lets users access basic services without an internet connection. The new product called Total will allow users to make payments, uh, check cricket scores, uh, use a mobile wallet, among other things. It will be available from March this year on four specific handsets uh, costing about 3,500 rupees. So will this new product allow hike to take on rival WhatsApp? To answer that question, I'm joined now by CEO of Hike Messenger, Kaveen Bharti Mittal. Hi, Kaveen. Welcome to Bloomberg Quint. Uh, let's begin uh, with you telling us about Total. What is the product about? So we launched a brand new product today called Total, built by Hike. And Total is Android. Um, and all the we've taken all the hard work uh, and the incredible work that Google has done with Android. And we've added a few things and we've slightly modified it to streamline the smartphone experience and the first time internet experience for a person coming online for the first time in his or her life onto the internet. So it's a completely different product from what we've been doing with Hike the app. Okay, so are you hoping to take on WhatsApp seriously with this new product? Um, it's a different product. It's not an app, it's not a messaging application. It's a, you know, we've taken Android, the operating system, and we modified it. So it's a whole new product. Our goal is very simple. How do you bring a billion people online? And there are still a, there's a still a large part of the market, over a billion people that are still yet to come online and use data on a daily basis. Working backwards of that, we believe we needed to build something more than just an application itself to go tackle that problem. So from that came our total. Okay, so now explain to us how it will work in layman terms. How are you going to provide data-like services without data to these users? <laughs> So we've, we've got um, all the services that are available inside the high cap working on Total as well. We've got messaging, we've got news, cricket scores, horoscopes, uh, payments, UPI, all that stuff working on the platform. And we use, uh, we built something called UTP, which stands for Universal Transfer Protocol. In simple terms, we've taken something called USST. If, you, if you've taken a phone and dialed star 121 hash, and the pop-up comes up through which you can check your balances and you can recharge your phone, that's USST. We've simply taken that technology, we've made it better, and we brought an entire smartphone experience to that technology. And today over 300 million people uh, use USST every month in the older form um, uh, on their smartphones and feature phones to check their balances and recharge their phones, and we've just made the experience about 10 times better. All right. Tell me about uh, a little bit about Hike, uh, Mr. Mithal. What are your current user numbers? Uh, it was 100 million in Jan 2016. Has it moved very far from there? The number is comfortably above 100 million users today. In 2018, this year itself, you'll see us announce active users, but that's the last number we've disclosed so far. It was all the way back in 2016. Is there any update you can share with us? Uh, are the numbers moving? So we're comfortably adding uh, hundreds of thousands of users every day. Uh, so the number is much, much bigger than before. But we've not announced um, our, act, uh, our user base so far in the last uh, year. Okay. Uh, let me come back to Total. Uh, are you limiting choices for your consumers, these 100 billion that you want to target, uh, by giving them an option of pretty much four handsets to choose from? Yeah, so again, I, I must emphasize, we're if you look at Total as a brand new product targeted at the next billion people. Hike the app is a great application with large scale that targets the youth of the country. Uh, Total is a brand new product that uses some of the Hike infrastructure targeting the next billion people. So to start off with, we have two partners who are at the forefront of ch uh, selling cheaper, lower end smartphones, Intex and Carbon. We're starting off with four models, starting from uh, as low as 3,000 rupees. And of course, we've also partnered with about three telcos to start off with to make this possible. So what we're seeing in March is the first uh, of what is to come. Um, and our goal and our hope is in Q2 and Q3 this year, we have many more models covering total and also hopefully more device partners on board. Okay. Uh, but then, you know, again, you have uh, limited, uh, you know, handsets, you have limited carriers uh, as well uh, together. Uh, how many people do you think will use total? So it's, it's important to keep in mind that over 100 million smartphones are sold every year. 
um, you know, our two partners, Intex and Carmen, amongst themselves, send, send, sell tens of millions of de devices every year. So the scale is already pretty large. We have on the telco side, Airtel, SL, BSNL as a partners, and we're expecting to get a Vodafone and idea on board very soon. Um, and again, in Q1, to start off with, we're going to have this coverage. This coverage will expand in Q2 and Q3 this year. That will happen. All right. Um, in your press conference today, Kavin, you spoke about internet users stagnating. Why do you think that is happening? So 400 million smartphone users and the daily active real internet customer base is about 200 million. Uh, data growth has slowed down because the freebies have come off the market. But there are also fundamental challenges um, that still exist despite uh, us seeing such large data growth. Um, data being expensive being one. Pricing is complicated. MBs and GBs are not as easy to understand. Um, cheaper smartphones don't have too much space and memory, so it's very hard to install too many apps in your smartphones. And when you go down into smaller cities, there's a fundamental lack of understanding of what the internet even is. And when you combine and put this together and you chart out a journey of someone who wants to come onto the internet for the first time on a smartphone to coming on the internet, it's a 15, 20 step process. It's quite complicated. It can be intimidating for a first time user because of all the complexities we've talked about. And when things are intimidating and, and, and quite daunting, the perceived value can be, or the perceived um, you know, nature of how expensive it is can be you know, much higher too. And so 200 million people are using internet in a very sort of healthy way in the country. The population is 1.3 billion people. So we still have a billion people to, to get online to the internet. And these are some of the challenges that we've seen, um, which we hope uh, we, we can address um, with Total. Yes, but you know, Mr. Mittal, in that race for those other billion people is also a player called Reliance Geo, which offers uh, data bundled up at very low rates. How do you compare as an option to users uh, with Reliance Geo? So first off, we really believe it's, you know, we have five partners with us on this idea to bring the next billion people online. We have three telcos, we have two device partners and us ourselves. And we're building on top of um, all the incredible work Google has done on Android. Um, so we're actually launching a smartphone, not a feature phone. That's number one. Number two is all these services are deeply embedded with a single sign-on uh, to make the experience completely out of the box. So when you buy one of these phones from Intex or Carbon, you can turn them on, tap a couple of you know times, and that's it. Voila, you're on sort of, you know, the phone and, and, and all, all the services are working. Third, uh, all this stuff works without data. So the, all the services that, you, that we've packed into the phone, they all work without data. You can message, you can, send, you know, you can, um, you know, browse news articles, cricket scores, all the basic stuff is available without data. And the fourth thing we've done that we've not talked about is we've also worked extremely closely with telecom operators to get very small data packs available that can be upsold and bought inside the operating system itself as low as one rupee and for one rupee you get about 20 mb uh, on total devices uh, that can translate to about 100 photos so we're trying to lower the cost of access also in addition to get these people to figure out and try what the internet actually is because you can't go from a zero to a 200 rupee pack overnight that's a lot of money for a lot of people so cutting the the data down into small small sachets and stitching the entire experience back to what we're doing with Total is very, very important. And we feel that that's going to be a, a big value proposition in the market. Okay. Now tell me, Kavin, on these phones, will services like WhatsApp and Facebook also be available to users? Of course. It's an Android phone. Uh, you can download any apps on, on the device. Uh, so it's an open ecosystem. We've taken, again, like I said, what a Google's done with Android. We've slightly modified it and put some services at the core of the OS. We also brought this entire USSD technology that will allow these services that are embedded to work without data. But it's Android. You have the Play Store. You can download all the apps that you want to if the phone has space. And if you have a data pack, which we're also upselling inside the, the OS, all these services will work. All right. Kavin, uh, give us a sense of Hike overall. Uh, there were plans of monetization uh, for the company by 2019. Is that target in place? I mean, of course, you're a private company, so you don't share numbers. But give us a sense of how uh, the app and the company is doing. So one of the things we've been openly talking about in 2017 is not necessarily the number of users, but the engagement on the platform. That's equally, if not more important. Uh, a daily active user on high expense comfortably above 20 minutes per day on the platform. That's pretty large. Um, we, we announced payments on the platform um, you know, in July 2017. 
And just last month, we announced in six months, in just six months after launching payments, we're already doing 10 million transactions per month on the platform. And remember, Hike today only has recharge and P2P on the platform. This quarter, we're going to launch things like taxi booking, movie ticketing. So the whole transaction platform itself is going to take a big leap forward. On the content side, we also have a massive content platform on Hike. People can consume news, cricket scores, all that stuff on the platform itself. And I can share with you that we have over 20 million people on a monthly basis consuming content itself on Hike uh, on the platform. So the app has grown much more beyond messaging and become this platform where people can do much more than messaging and consume content and also transact with services they love. And in 2018, again with Hike app in, in total, our goal is to grow the user base and start thinking about how we can monetize the business in 2019. Uh, this is a brand new product, and with the brand new products come brand new ways of monetization. And in 2018, our goal is to figure out some ideas on how we can go and monetize the platform and start experimenting with them in 2019 next year. All right. Thank you so much, Kaveen Bharti Mittal, for speaking with us. Uh, the founder and CEO of Hike Messenger there talking about his new product, Total, which aims to tap into a billion users uh, who don't have access to data, can't afford it, but definitely aspire to.